Hello there. Today we are going to be reacting to epic rap battles of history, Donald Trump versus Kamala Harris. It has been too long. Oh my gosh. Also, I'm fully blind, so I won't be able to react to the words. I mean, I'll try. Sometimes they can be difficult to hear, so a lot of them will probably go over my head, so don't expect a bar breakdown. But this is my favorite channel ever. I've been watching them for over half my life. I'm looking forward to this. And yeah, let's let's get right into it. Also, sorry if it's too dark and you can't actually see my reaction too good because it's like five quarter past five in the morning in New Zealand. <laughs> First time reaction. Oh, what? Okay. Okay. So something interesting about the ERBs. Long-time ERB fans may already know this, but the person that goes second in these battles has won. So in the Barack Obama Mitt Romney battle, Barack Obama went second, Donald Trump, Hillary Clinton, Donald Trump went second, and then Donald Trump, Joe Biden, Joe Biden went second. So it'll be curious to see who starts. Okay. Oh, I got the best word play. Oh wow. Okay. So they either <laughs> think Kamala's gonna win, don't know of that. I'm sure they do. Or oh, interesting. Okay, so Apparently, Kamala is going to win according to okay. this tradition. It's been so long, man. I've got the best word plays. Ask my supporters. I've got more disabilities than a New York Times reporter. You're a scam. Your whole nomination is a hoax. Your party is so pro choice, the aborted estates right to vote. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh, oh no. Oh my gosh, that's brutal. Oh my gosh, okay, okay, I'm just gonna keep... <laughs> oh, come back, ERB. Do more, please. We need you. Oh, when, when they needed the most, they, when we needed the most, they returned. Pussy bows think you could scare me with prison? Get your mugshot, then your mugshot. Then come talk to me about convictions. You're the radical left. You should be embarrassed. The way you divide our country, I'll call you Camel Toe Harris. Your inflation's got... <laughs> Oh my gosh! <laughs> the way you divide our country, I'll call you Carmel to Harris. The, oh man, I really wonder how much, how many lines were written by the Patreon as well, because they go hard. I used to be in there, but they they didn't give me enough content, man. So, okay. but man, <laughs> it's really good. It's really good so far, and his voice has changed. It's similar to the last one, but he sounds older now because I did a reaction to the the joe rogan podcast that they did which is crazy by the way and but yeah i got taken down for copyright so whatever but yeah great oh man very divisive time mugshot, then your mugshot then come talk to me about convictions to the radical left you should be embarrassed the way you divide our country i'll call you camel toe harris your inflation's got our nation clipping coupons while it's leaking worse <laughs> this is like a different rap flow like the ah uh. <laughs> In a wet lab in Wu. I had every American's 401k thriving. Stock market's higher than the planes full of migrants you fly in and don't. Oh even... my gosh, bro. Oh my days. This, bro, this is going hard. And what I will say, very easy to understand compared to the Godzilla King Kong, which makes sense. They are humans. Try to deny the cognitive decline you were hiding. Wrap it up, Joe, like it was Wigan and Biden. I'm here to teach you what losing to a winner feels like. Ask Pence. I know how to drop a mic. I know oi, you're not all here. Oi, Mike Pence, drop a mic. Mike Pence, microphone. Okay. All right, I'm curious to hear the Kamala Harris voice. Because she's got a... Look, you can agree with people's policies or disagree with their policies while finding their voice annoying. I think she's got an annoying voice. I mean, I don't know if I've re revealed where I stand politically. Who cares, bro? Let's just enjoy a rap battle. But I kind of I find her voice kind of annoying. Joe, like it was Wigan and Biden. I'm here to teach you what losing to a winner feels like. Ask Pence. I know how to drop a mic. I know you're not all ears, but listen up close. You are J.D. Vance's beer and level weird. You are gross. You've been bending American decency over a barrel. Giving Lady Liberty the finger like... <laughs> okay, it's not bad. It's I feel like it needs more age. I, uh, <laughs> like she's got some of that in her voice, but no, she's got the accent down and, and the tone. House with our secret stacks and piles, from documents to pedos, you spend too much time with piles. Having sleepovers with Laura Loomer, what's going on with 
you can't you afford more than Timu Melania? <laughs> oh, that, that's a very <laughs> modern joke with the whole Timu thing. City, bank, ballot box, and court. You're home alone too. You lost in New York. I was there. Oh, oh, oh my days. That's a bar. That is a bar. Home alone too. Lost in New York. Yet a guest appearance. <laughs> and obviously politically New York is blue. Dang, that's that's good. Heard more than Timu Melania. <laughs> you failed in your own city. Bank, ballot box and court. You're home alone too. You lost in New York. <laughs> I was good. there on January 6th and was not fun for me. Just like your bowels, I was evacuated suddenly. <laughs> oh, you were oh my gosh. This is a hard hitting battle, bro. I guess they had I mean they haven't made a battle in what, seven, eight months? Maybe even more. So they've had so much time to really critique. Because this did start out as a Joe Biden battle. But then obviously, in real life, the Democratic Party threw him out. So put her up. So they've had to literally critique. But they can use a lot of the Trump jokes against Trump with Kamala instead of Biden. And I'm curious to see if Abraham Lincoln will come in. Because he didn't for the Biden-Trump battle. Where history's least hopeful, presidential hopeful, mood swinging wildly like stuck in truth social. I mean, oh my, okay, <laughs> that's really good. I mean, it's not because I invested in truth social and lost uh, uh, substantially, but <laughs> that's a good part. I hope you wrote that comic crap. <laughs> okay, that could be a Tim Walls thing, but. That's probably Biden though. You wrote that commie crap in red because you're taking a huge loss. Is that any worse for you than Afghanistan did for your boss? A man handed you everything you ever did. You couldn't make your own way. Couldn't even make your own kids. Your oh my days. <laughs> oh, this is killing me. Oh my gosh, it's been too long, but they need more. I, I mean, this is a five minute battle, so I don't know if it'll be the whole Jim Henson, Stan Lee thing, where it was like a two minute outro, or if it's actually going to go for five minutes, but... Whew, man, I'm so glad they returned. This is this is amazing. He was absent when you were... Sorry, that Afghanistan did for your boss. A man handed you everything you ever did. You couldn't make your own way. Couldn't even make your own kids. Your mommy was absent when you were just a little baby. And if she saw you now, she'd wish she were a childless cat lady. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Wow, yeah, I guess I don't know anything about Trump's mum. I didn't even think about that, huh? Your racist landlord daddy wasn't there to kill him. Seeing me living rent free in your head. Well, I know I failed the bar exam after that. I guess the half of you's job it is to rap isn't black. Oh, true. Sorry, that almost went over my head. Bar exam, you know, rapping bars, but also she did it. I think she did actually fail the bar exam. Oh, good one. You catch up smelling edge lord. You rock the beat softer than Stormy Daniels headboard. <laughs> Oh my, oh bro, that's a bar. Oh my days. What? You rock the beat softer than Stormy Daniels' headboard. Oh, bro, 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 bro. Who wrote that bar? This is, oh, I'm freaking out, bro. This, uh, should have never been in doubt. It's epic rap battles of history, bro. I can't believe I'm even in a race with this hog. Hope you're in makeup in Ohio, cause they're eating the dog. <laughs> <laughs> See, that was recent, so I'm. When, as soon as they drop it, they can't make any more bars. So it's good that they dropped it this time, cause they got all the political memes. I wonder if they'll have a McDonald's joke. Maybe that's a bit too recent. I'm putting you away like a rapist back in Cali. You should leave this battle early, like the crowds at your rallies. I had all the biggest oh. rallies. Yes. Well, I've got Taylor Swift. You're ugly. You are ugly. Well, you're a Marxist. Jump in, Jesus H. Huckleberry Christ on a crutch. No one wants to fight about politics this much. Oh my days. Is that Teddy Roosevelt? No, they're going to morph into other... No way. This is a... That was a... I'm... It's mad. It's mad too. You're ugly. You are ugly. Well, you're a Marxist. Jump in Jesus H. Huckleberry Christ on a crutch. No one wants to fight about politics this much. You, Madam Red, White, and Pantsuit. Don't let getting higher be the greatest thing you ever do. <laughs> Oh, sorry. Okay, he didn't. He didn't morph. He. Sorry. Again, I can't react visually. But he just. Ca okay, so they're using Teddy Roosevelt instead of Abraham Lincoln, presumably. 
I mean, that's the Teddy Roosevelt voice from what I hear. So it could be Lincoln, but it sounds like him. Okay, so he's coming back at them hard. Okay, I like this. It sounded like Trump literally morphed into Teddy Roosevelt. Oh, red, white, and pants <laughs> Red, white, and pants suit. Getting higher, be the greatest thing you ever do. And you, but... baby, back ribs up and have it. Try not to slide democracy straight to chapter 11. I've come here on the back of my musky handed beast with a message for whichever one of you talks the least. This government was founded on self evident truths. So keep it of the people, by the people, for the people. Most Wow. <laughs> okay, so of the people, by the people, for the people, moose <laughs> instead of eagle. Wow. Oh my gosh, I wanted more. Hold on, how long is this going for? Six slider, slider, three minutes, 35 seconds. Oh, I did do a gym. Okay, I'm still very happy with the three and a half minute battle. But yeah, that just means okay. the next two minutes is a. is a. is just an outro. Okay, I'm going to. Three minutes, 57. What's up? Oh, ground. That's a very fitting sponsor for the for the rap battle. Okay, so that's a sponsorship. I'm gonna leave it there because no one watches sponsorship. I will watch it later on. I'm sure it's very musical. But let me know what you thought. That was great. I'm gonna now watch that ninety thousand more times and learn it off by heart, like I do with every other battle. That was great. Oh my gosh, some real hard hitters. And I always love getting my first time reaction so I can look back on it. So the bars, I can watch my first time reaction to the bars hit hard. You can hear the birds tweeting now, possibly. Tui's early morning New Zealand. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this epic rap battles of history. Donald Trump versus Kamala Harris. Let me know who you think won. And obviously leave a like in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.